Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another vid. So just a quick update on the gene push. We're currently at 1521, all three of us. Um, we gained about 150 cups yesterday. We're up about 21 today. The day just started, but we actually have some different content for you guys today because I don't want to flood you guys with gene gameplay every single day. We're going to be discussing the new best brawler in Brawl Stars. Now, without further ado, I don't want to waste anyone's time. Let's hop into the game and let's show you guys what the best brawler in the game is. So I'm going to be playing with randoms for this video just to show you guys how powerful this brawler is. But we're going to be playing with Gale. Now, Gale definitely is the best brawler in the game and here's why. They made a few changes. Now, as you guys can see, as you guys can see Gale's shot is very much slimmer than it was before it's a very skinny looking shot um and it actually does a ton of damage it has six snowballs now instead of five and you can hit all six in some scenarios now it actually does do a ton of damage and as well as that the super actually changed so instead of you getting knocked back when you use super which didn't help very much you instead knock other people back now this brawler on top of it being absolutely broken is auto aim friendly so auto aim does do a great amount of damage you don't lose too much damage if you auto aim instead of aim looks like this guy is pretty happy that we're playing together um and if you're ever in a situation you don't like you can just push them away now the only negative thing about this brawler obviously is the is not the gadgets but the star power the gadgets are obviously super useful on top of this brawler just being an op brawler as it is it has three launch pads that you guys know of obviously and it's just broken like there's not much the other team can do to stop you the range is there everything is there before this brawler was just okay but now this is definitely the best brawler in the game it doesn't really get countered by anything you can just walk up as you guys can see i'm not even really trying right now we're just kind of walking up and shooting at random people and we're doing excellent this game and again you can just push people back super easily um i'm just missing shots right there because i haven't played any brawler outside of gene for a very long time but literally all you're doing is aiming or auto aiming and just absolutely dominating now again we're going to be playing one match on every single mode just to show you guys how versatile gale is as well so let's hop into the next mode and let's keep it going now hopping into brawl ball which is definitely one of gale's best modes this should be pretty easy we're going up against a nani a colt and a rosa so again you have pretty good distance so you don't really need to get into the middle of things you can kind of just stay here and chip you guys are seeing we're doing 1792 very very easily um, we're just going to try and distract this coal. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to try... Oh, never mind. They're spawning. We're going to try and pick up the ball and push the coal away. I don't think that's an option. We're going to get that coal stuck over there. Not going to help us too much, but why not, you know? So we're going to take some shots. Going to fall back. You shouldn't really be dying with this brawler if you're actually trying. Um, and again, the, the gadget... Or not the gadget. Sorry. The star power is pretty useful for, for getting people trapped. Now, they might actually score a goal here. Let's try pushing them away. Stalling it out. We're gonna try our best to stall it out. Will our max be able to save? Oh, our max is not the greatest goalie in the world. So they're gonna be able to score that first goal. But you guys can see we're doing really well with Gale. Pretty much dominating. We can go close to people, just push them back into their spawn. And just like that, we already have control. We have our super back already. No problem right there. We're almost gonna be able to score. Unfortunately not. And you guys can see how useful this brawler is. And we haven't even used the gadgets yet, which is probably one of the most useful parts about this brawler. So that just shows you guys how versatile and how good this brawler actually is. Now again, we're just chilling over here, aiming. We're facing all different types of opponents, range, you know, close range, stuff like that. So it's actually pretty interesting. Gonna use the launch pad and just launch basically nowhere. Um, we're not in the greatest situation here. Gonna try and take out this Rosa, gonna do it pretty easily. Got another pushback. Gonna try and get this Nani over here. Almost able to get it, but as you guys can see, the utility on this brawler is absolutely amazing. And now I think it's time we actually start using our gadget properly. So let's move up on the map. Gonna jump right into a Rosa. That's quite unfortunate. But for some reason, this brawler is able to kill a Rosa at close range. So we're gonna be able to get that kill. We're gonna kill the Nani as well. And we're gonna be able to get our first goal. So no launch pad right now. We're able to get it. Gonna just chill over here on this side. Gonna put that launch pad up. Go for the goal. Oh! I think we messed up over there. I think we did a little bit of a mess up. Again, haven't played any brawler besides Gene. But you guys can tell just how broken this brawler is right now. The randoms aren't really doing the greatest right now. But you know what? We're holding our own. And it's only even better in overtime. Because in overtime, you just need to walk up and click the auto aim button. That's literally all you need to do. Hopefully this 90 doesn't come kill us. Okay, we're able to stay alive there. Again, all you need to really do is click the auto aim button. We're going to use the knockback to give the max the ball. Get that kill. And that's going to be a really op game pretty decent game but it showed you guys a lot of gameplay of this new gale which is definitely again the best brawler in the game so again let's hop into the next mode which is going to be bounty and let's get into it 
So here we go into our next game, getting into Bounty. Now, obviously, this isn't really the greatest map in the world for Gale, but we're going to try and make it work. We're going to use our jump over here and jump forward with our Gene and get alpha positioning right off the bat. We're going to be able to get a first star and a kill, so that's a pretty good start. Going to push this mic against the wall. He's stuck. All we got to do is click that auto-aim button and we're able to get the kill. So as you guys can see, very OP brawler. And this covers literally the entirety of the bush, so nobody is safe from our super over here. Again, we can just use it. Very overpowered super. We can just go up close. I missed that first auto aim, but we're able to get the kill. And you guys are starting to see just how broken this brawler really is. It's it's kind of unfair to be honest. I kind of walked into that death. Normally I wouldn't be, you know, just walking into a bush for no reason, but I'm just trying to get some gameplay right now. So we're gonna jump forward. Again, we cover the entirety of the bush, so we don't even have to go in. We can just figure out where they are by using our super. We're gonna be able to get a really easy kill over here. We're not gonna use our super yet. We're gonna wait till we have all three of our shots. But again, from far distance, I don't know why we're able to do this amount of damage, but we are able to. And it's just super, super easy, honestly, to use this brawler. Gonna be using this launch pad as an escape, move back out with the gems, and there you go. You guys can see just how insane this really is. And now we can kind of just chill over here. You're pretty good at checking out and finding where people are. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We're going to go down over there, but we are going to be able to get a kill as well. And again, we're just going to send in that launch pad and we're just going to go because we like to YOLO here. Um, we're not going to be able to get that kill, but we're able to get our super right back, use it again. And again, the star power, a little bit underwhelming, but it is very useful when you get people caught. So that's going to be a kill for us over there. And again, we're just going to jump in and cycle this. Just jump in kill cycle get this rosa stuck on water gonna be able to get that kill pretty easily and this is looking like it's gonna be game and again you guys are seeing i don't have to aim i'm just auto aiming very very easy brawler to play gonna get this rosa caught we're gonna be able to get that kill really easily gonna do the same thing to the tara get it caught and just get some kills we're gonna go down over there that's gonna be it for the bounty game let's move over now to the heist game and show you guys what gale can do in heist all right, so here we go on to our second last game. We're going to be playing on Tornado Ring. Now, Tornado Ring is looking pretty cool. Um, I don't know what changed exactly. I can't put my finger on it, but it definitely is changed up a lot. Perhaps the new environment. So, as you guys can see, Gale is obviously good here because Gale is the best brawler and is good everywhere. You just need to chill in the mid, hit shots. You know, there's a Colt right here. We're just going to click the auto aim button be able to get that easy kill. Get this Rosa caught on these boxes. And again, just keep firing away. There's nothing that they can really do. Bull gets too close, just get it out of our face. Again, they can't really do too much, and it's super easy for you to hit multiple targets at the same time, which is also really good. Now, it's looking like we're going to lose this game, to be honest, because they do have a very superior comp to ours. Um, our comp isn't really the best comp in the world, and our randoms might not be the best randoms in the world as well. But you know what? We're going to try and figure it out. We're going to put launch pads, and hopefully our team is just going to be OP with the launch pads. Just launch forward and figure it out. But um, this isn't going very well. It looks like our Colt is going to be AFK or a bot or something. He's just standing there shooting. He's popping off. But this game isn't looking very promising for us right now. It looks like we're just going to take the L. But we, I guess we do have a Jesse turret on safe. So we're able to do a little bit of damage. But this game is pretty much over for us. Um, you guys can see though that Gale is actually useful in this mode though. And on safe, it does about 4% per shot, which is actually a pretty decent amount considering that it is Gale and that it isn't really a DPS brawler. But it's looking like that is going to be game. We're just going to stand here, let them take the win. Our randoms were OP this game. Let's hop into our final game, which is going to be Showdown. And let's show you guys how Gale is in Showdown. All right, so here we go into our final game, which is going to be Showdown. And we're just going to, we guys, we just, you know, we just want to show you guys how OP he is everywhere. Now, we do have this BMing strat over here which is definitely my favorite thing in this update by far is the fact that you can now BM people in game. Very OP, but as you guys can see, this 8-bit, we're just gonna be able to walk up and kill it really easily. We're gonna, I guess, jump with the 8-bit. We might go down. Oh no, I clicked the auto aim button and we go down. Okay, let's do one more game. That one didn't count. You guys didn't see that. That 8-bit just BM'd us. I don't know if you guys saw, but let's hop into the next game and let's continue showing you guys. All right, so here we go into the next game. Now I kinda got a little bit aggro. You guys know I'm not really the biggest showdown pro in the world. Um, and I kind of just go for plays that I shouldn't be in showdown, but what's this Leon doing? We're not teaming with you, bro. Able to get that kill over there. No teaming allowed here. Oh, there's a Brock here that's trying to kill us. We're going to hide behind this box. I guess he's going to hit us. We're not going to hide behind the box. We're just going to jump away. See you later, Brock. OP escape mechanism from this brawler. And I think we're going to go for the surprise attack on the Brock. I think that's the biggest play. I think that's the pro strat. So we're going to stay in here. Going to go for the surprise attack. Let's see if we can land on him. 
Okay, we're not able to land on him. The surprise attack didn't work, but we're doing a lot better this game than we were the last game. We're able to get that crow lacking, and we're able to get that kill. This is a very OP assassin type of play. Oh, there's the ropes that you can shoot through. The ropes are pretty cool, I do have to say. But again, assassin type of gameplay, you can just kind of snipe someone from far using your Gale Super, and then you're basically fine. Um, I'm very scared of B. B with power up is something that you definitely should go away from. And although I really want to attack it and I want to be aggressive, I'm just going to chill in this bush, kind of spin, pop off with some emotes. Emotes, again, emotes in game is just the best thing in the world. Copying kind of Clash Royale and getting into that BM type of thing. Hopefully there's nobody in this bush. I'm kind of scared. It looks like we have nobody in the bush. Let's take this out just to annoy the B a little bit because why not annoy the powerful B? Um, and there's a lot of bushes here. This is my first time playing on this map ever. We're able to kill the bee over there. It looks like there is a Shelly here. So we're just going to push it away from us. Don't want to go up close with the Shelly. And we're going to go down. We did get way too up close with the Shelly. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And you guys see how OP Gale is. Now in the showdown, I kind of didn't really play it properly. I was kind of just fooling around. But that's going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, definitely let me know. And if you guys want to see games like this, let me know. These guys are epic showdown players, by the way. But that's going to be it. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace. Oops.